Okay. Alright, so I'm going to give you a review of the VR box. Right, recently. So the VR box is a virtual reality goggles. So there are many imitations out there. There's VR case and this is VR box version 2. And I don't have the remote yet, but good thing. Uh, they were able to give me a free remote that I can add for my review later. So now we're gonna check what's inside the VR box. And what about this? Check it. So the beer box is definitely made in China, so you can see here. Okay, so there are lots of imitations out there and the VR box too. This I think worth getting shot. So the cost of this is around 1,100 pesos to 1,500 pesos. So that's $23 to like $32, $32. $30, yeah. And what else? We got the, the cloth, anti static cloth. Good. Well, okay. Just a warm prompt here. You see that when you ever, whenever you put the device, it says that you have a divider in the center and you put the rubber pad. So I think the rubber pad is okay. This one. So there's, if you look closely, there are three pads. So one square, one square, and one square. So it says here that you will put two above, or two below, and one above. Okay, so includes the manual. And of course, the units. Let's check out the units. It's more uh, sturdier plastic this time, but still plastic. The new version 2 has an opening where you can have a peek on your camera there are times when you need to open up your camera like for in my case i use a drone i can peek when i switch to uh, my phone camera mode and then you can also insert uh, the wires here for it depends on the orientation of your camera or your mobile device and there are also holes here for jacks uh, earphones and your power cords usb cords and this is where you put your phone so you can adjust this and this is where you will put the rubber pad uh, two below and one above and as you can see the center you can focus this a little bit yeah so that's the center where you need to aim the phone the phone okay because the screen splits into two, that will give you the 3D effect or the virtual reality effect. And there are some apps that make you, you know, use head tilt if you have gyroscope. But if you don't have gyroscope, you can't do that. So like in my case, I don't have gyroscope. Too bad. Okay. I'm going beyond. So on the VR box, you can see that you can adjust the, the focal sideways. So side, left, right, okay, so if you're facing here, this is my left, okay, left and right, you can choose the wide, so it depends on the, uh, your eyes, how wide are your eyes, and you can also pull up and down, that's farther away and closer to you, the lens, so far and close, away and close to you, away and close to you. It's already magnified, the spherical. You have the technical description uh, here on the manual. And before it's like leathery, but this time it's like cotton, pure cotton. So when you sweat, I think it absorbs rather than slips when you use leather. They say that this is more uh, harder compared to the previous one. So, and yeah, you have an adjustable Velcro garterized padding on top. So it depends on. And here, Velcro as well. Velcro. Velcro. Okay. Case can cater like 3 to 6 inch, like an iPhone 6 or the S7 Edge. It works well on the iPhone 5C, especially if you have gyroscope. But I have the Acer S55 Liquid Jade, which doesn't have the gyro, but I was able to still uh, load onto this unit.
So if you're gonna use different kinds of foams on your VR goggles, well, you have to determine first uh, the rubber padding location. So like in this case, it's almost like a six inch. Uh, you can put the rubber padding here, but then again, when you put your iPhone, like this one's for a smaller one, uh, you have to be careful where to put the padding in order to protect it. So like in this case, if it's in the center, well, you have to place the padding here, but you have to be careful because there are buttons here and on the other side as well. Those are some uh, considerations you have to take, but in different phones, like I said, if you have another phone like the uh, S7 or other phones, you have to take into consideration the buttons. So, if you have problems deciding where to put the, the, the padding underneath, you can also check if your orientation of the phone is here and the buttons are here, you can also do it like this. So if it's a clear, no uh, button here, then it's a good way to to install whenever uh, the padding underneath. So you can also change the orientation as long as you enable the rotation. So I remove the padding. So just remove this padding. And that's a double-sided sticker. And the one, the first one I place here. Okay, so we're gonna remove this other pattern. Stick it somewhere. Okay, so that. This is my setup, so it depends on your phone and how you set up your rubber pattern. Check out, see if it will not. So this is almost like a screen of the iPhone 6. Okay. Okay, it doesn't fall now. It doesn't even slide. That's good. Good sign. Okay now on the iPhone. I think it's also doesn't <clears throat> harm any buttons. And it's fixed, doesn't move. Good time. So yeah, it grates, it holds up firmly, so even if you have a wobbly head, it doesn't fall. Very sturdy, even if you wiggle it a little bit. And there's a bit hole here that separates the nose and you still have no stress in this area. It's beautiful. Not much light getting in compared to other VR This is a good one. And the light never enters here. No. So you like to check it out? Let's see. So if you're another way to check if the VR app you're going to download is to check on your Play Store. So for Android device we use Play Store. In iOS we use App Store. So here we type in VR. For example, I have your Insidious 3. And check out if it will work. So if you like to install this, this app is incompatible with your device. So that's a problem because I have a Globe Acer S55, I have a Lenovo one, and none of them even. Uh, use this, this one is a tablet that so really doesn't work. So you have to try and try until you get the right VR app. So we're going back to VR, search for another one. Okay, let's try uh, the VR cinema for cardboard. So this is a movie player splitting your movies into two, and then it's already installed, so it means it's working on my app because this app is compatible with my phone. Let's try the VR Cinema. Okay, so this is one movie I have on my SD card. It's called Everest and it, when I open a VR Cinema uh, app, it already splits the screen into two. Here, you can put your jack on the side. So, in this case, I have it open. And you can uh, grab your eye. The uh, 3.5 millimeter earphone jack, so it gives you more space here. And even without the jack, you have good quality. It's like watching a movie, cinema. 
is already in 3D. That's the Everest movie. You know that movie? Have you seen that movie yet? Okay, some of the things that I do is I search for VR in YouTube. So if I have YouTube on and I search for VR movies or clips, so you have, if you see a split screen movie, you can simply download this using keep vid, copy the URL. So these are just sample. So you can copy this and so this is will give you a 3D effect. And once you download this, you can play it in your VLC player or any movie player where you have the screen split. So copy this and I go to keep vid where you get the clip. Paste it. Copy it, paste it, download, get the highest pixel, 740p, download. Okay, so 360 is like the future of UA, uh, especially now on YouTube, where you can. So this is a 360 video, so if you click this, you can circle around. You see, you can move up, down, left, and if you have gyroscope, uh, the barometer, you can watch the movie. So this has been done by National Geographic. So this is the much more future uh, way of viewing it, where you can tilt your head up and down, left, right, and you can see the angle of every reason. As part of buying the VR box, but also for the clothes. So, of course, you cannot do this like a chain protected. You have a split screen where you can emit the app is uh, applicable to the FPV. Then that's the time you can use it. But DJI Go, the app doesn't have that. So, what we have is TV, FPV for iOS and Android, and the Leech, which is far better, but only for Android. So, it doesn't uh, work well with iOS. When you work your FPV up and down, you work your gimbal also goes up and down like this. And then if you sway here, left and right, and walk on the quad. And there you are. So there's a 3D FPV. So what you do is you flip that one. And then you connect the device. So open the remote. Open the remote. Okay. So right now there's no uh, uh, So we have the Bluetooth remote looks like this. So it has this button to power on. And you have the switch here that acts like your mouse. And then other A, B, C, D buttons. An app button that makes you change the modes of this function. And the switch whether you are using an Android or an iOS phone. So Android. Okay, here. So this will act like the trigger or the, the left click and the right click button. You can also adjust the, the sound of your mobile phone using this. Okay, so you have to activate your Bluetooth. Go to your settings, and then Bluetooth. Okay, so if you turn this on you press this long long press and then it blinks so once it blinks you can see the VR box arcade Sorry about that. click click the next so I think it's connected so let's see so up down 
left right and this one you click that one you will go to the, uh, if you like to disconnect so and so so this is good when you are wearing your VR box.